um, constructing new markup chain from the old. And uh, first we'll see a textbook example 4.12. So basically we have a fair coin and we flip it. We have probability of a head is equal to probability of tail is equal to uh, one half. And now the question asks us to compute what is we have a run of three consecutive heads in within eight flips. Okay. Again, this is pretty much like our classical probability question. Um, however, we can transform it into a markup chain question by the following. First, we define a markup chain. Okay. So we have our state space. And our state space is, so here I'll give you guys the state space. The state space is from zero to uh, three. So for an I in this state space, it means if I is less than three, so uh, it means currently At time n, we are on, so a wrong of i consecutive heads. All right, so. And then if i equal three, so this is uh, this is our um, state a in previous video, but uh, uh, in in this video we're just gonna say this is i equal three. It means it means what? It means a run of uh, three consecutive heads has already been achieved. Has already, whoops, has already occurred. So if this run of three, three consecutive heads has already been occurred, uh, it means we'll uh, stay um, in this uh, state forever, because it's already occurred. So we, we, we I mean, we, we cannot have it occurred again. If it occurred again, it's still already occurred. So um, we, we have, once we have reached this state, we'll um, stay at this state forever. So now let's uh, uh, compute its uh, uh, probability, probability, transition probability matrix. So let's write down the state. So it's state zero, state one, state two, and state three. Okay, and this is a state of zero, and this is state one, this is state two, and this is state three. So first, um, let's try to fill in uh, what's here, okay? So this is, uh, this is uh, essentially uh, P0, 0.
And let's recall uh, the state space. When i is less than 3, so we are on a rung of uh, i consecutive uh, heads. So this 0 means, so the first 0 means we're at state 0. So we have 0 consecutive heads. And this means this state is like a, basically we have we have a, a tail at current flip, so at time n. Okay, so and this is zero, so this is m plus one, and it means we must have tail at m plus 1 as well because um, the flips are, uh, are independent so what we have here is uh, 1 half okay so it's uh, we have zero consecutive heads which means we have tail right here and uh, from state 0 to state 0 means we flip a tail next time so, but also, so this, so this equals, whoops, so this equals one half, and it equals, it also equals, um, it's the same thing as uh, one minus p zero one. So because it's equally likely to flip tail or head next time. So let me write down what's uh, P01. So P01 is basically, it's, it's still one half. And this is uh, currently we have a tail at time n. Okay. And this one means here, so we have one consecutive wrong of head that means we have a flip ahead at time m plus one so this is one half all right so now let's fill in this uh, matrix so one half and if we just have a so now let's uh, consider this entry If we just, so this is from state zero to state two, okay? And by the way, uh, you guys might already know uh, these two are zero because the row sum must sum to one, but uh, let's still uh, try to, in, uh, try to uh, interpret it. So this one is zero because we know that here we have tail at time n and this two means we have two consecutive heads at time m plus one this is impossible because we just flipped a tail even if we flip uh, a head at uh, time n plus one we only have one consecutive head so we cannot have two consecutive heads. And so that's uh, why this is zero. And similarly from state one, okay. So state one means uh, we have already flipped a head at a time n. Okay, so state one means we have head at the current time step n. So then we have one half of probability if it goes back to state zero because next time we may flip a tail. So let me continue right down here. So P10 is one half is simply because this is uh, this one means we have had at time n, okay, which we have one consecutive head at time n, and this zero means 
we have zero consecutive head, it, which means we have tail at uh, time m plus one. All right. So this is one half. And now let's let's look at uh, state one to state one. So state one to state one actually is impossible because uh, if we row ahead at time n, if we row next time ahead at time n plus one, we'll have a two consecutive heads, which means we have one half chance of entering state two. So state two means we have two consecutive heads. So two heads. Okay. At uh, the current and the previous one. So basically we cannot enter other states. And similarly, state two, we have one half of chance of row a tail, uh, of a flip a tail, and then our uh, consecutive run of heads stopped and we go back to state zero. And then we kind of have uh, this state as well, because uh, if we flip a tail, we just go back to state zero. If we flip a head, which is one half chance, we entered state three, because now we have uh, three consecutive heads, all right? So state three is an artificial uh, state. It's like uh, three heads achieved. Okay. So once it's achieved, uh, it's staying at uh, this state forever. Let me let me draw a div divider. So this means the matrix is done. So this uh, zero one two three means uh, states. So now we let, whoops. So now we let this uh, one step transition probability to be P and we are interested in what happens is, uh, we apparently we're interested. So first I'll write down the answer. We're interested in P to the eighth power because uh, uh, we consider uh, we flip the coin uh, eight times, and uh, we're interested in an entry. So um, zero, uh, three. Okay. So let let me add a remark here. Um, so zero means we start so with. Uh, so zero uh, consecutive head. And three is our artificial state. It means uh, we have ever achieved a three consecutive heads wrong. So we're, apparently we're interested in this uh, entry. So basically, we just compute the matrix power. Um, so this matrix, so this matrix right here, we compute its eighth power, and then we uh, we choose uh, its uh, so zero three, which is we compute the eighth power, and uh, we're interested in what happens to. Uh, right here, what is this value from state zero to state three? So, this is this is one step transition probability we're interested in after we multiply uh, p eight times. What's the value right here? So let me give you guys the answer. So the answer. Um, so if you compute it, the answer is uh, one o seven divided by uh, two fifty six. All right. So this is a simple example of how do we make use of uh, this type of uh, uh, so condensing uh, several states into a single state, this type of uh, tricks.